Hey guys, welcome to Quadrasteria. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff I want to talk about today. I had a great weekend. It's like summer here in the Northwest. Uh, not sure what's going on with the weather, but it's like sunny and 60 degrees. I think our winter is over early. Um, my test pilot, D-Man, local guy, he started up a race uh, league locally and uh, had a great time flying out with gates um, and hoops out at our local AMA field here in Washington State. Uh, but he has these cool stickers for us. We come in peace, drone. Um, so I want to talk about several things on the Mini Mama because I did uh, build a second one. Uh, this one here with the Sunny Sky 2207s and uh, 2100 KV um, wanted to test out how it flew. And uh, another thing, look at this orange receiver on S bus to the maze. So I want to talk about that. You'll notice these uh, headlights. Um, and a few recommendations that come out of that and mainly how to set up this this hard receiver. Okay, so first I'll talk about some of the differences between these two Mini Mambas. So this Mini Mamba has the Sunny Sky 2204-2300 KV motors um, and a 12 amp Quadriceria Pro ESCs, also known as the Blue Series. Um, this one has a Boss Cam 600 milliamp video transmitter. Um, they both have an orange R800 receiver and this one's hooked up to the Nays and configured for PWM. This guy's got the Sunny Sky 2207 uh, 2100 KV motors fairly new product and uh, when I bench tested that it went over 20 amps so I put the 25 amp uh, Quadra Stereo Pro ESCs on this. So the all-up weight difference between these two is 72 grams. So the bigger motors, uh, all-up weight right here, FPVs, 532 grams. And the all-up weight with the Sunny Sky 2300 KVs, uh, 460 grams. So we got a difference of about 75. <clears throat> that extra weight was enough to, in my opinion, make these bigger motors not worth uh, the extra weight on 3S. However, I flo flew it on 4S and then it was pretty, you know, it was fast. Um, still though, you need a 4S battery and I flew this guy. This is a Nanotech and I'm getting I'm getting really disappointed with these standard Nanotechs. You know, maybe the A specs might work better. But a 1.6 4S up to 50 C so 1.6 times 50 is exactly 80 amps so it, on average I'm not going full throttle let's say I'm drawing 20 amps on each of these that's 80 that's exactly 80 I flew with this battery and uh, got less than five minutes and the sucker puffed like a blowfish honestly um, it was and it was hot it wasn't just warm so Amazingly, the cells look pretty healthy still, and the, and the puffing's gone down. So it may still be a workable battery. I got lucky that time. But on these motors, taking the amount of amps they do for uh, minimal boost in speed, I'm thinking it's not what I'm going to recommend. I, I still, for now, love this setup, the Sunny Sky 2300 KBs, the 2204 size. 6x4 prop, 5 props, uh, 12 amp ESCs, and you can fly this 4S too. Um, great little setup. That's my favorite. Flies like a dream. So, and then um, I put the uh, nays down underneath and set it up for one wire S bus. It's like CPPM that Free Sky has. Um, except when you attach to the naze instead of attaching to um, pin 1 for your composite signal S bus is like a CPM it's in that it's composite the signal goes into uh, pin 4 which is right below it's on the second layer 
on the bottom of the board. So I've wanted to try uh, that for a long time. The big reason for it is to fly an octo, you need to, uh, on the naze board, as you'll see on the naze board, you can maybe, maybe, maybe not see through this, this cover here, you have up to six motor outputs. But when you use a serial receiver, like CPPM or SBUS, um, it enables motors seven and eight over on the receiver pins. Um, so that's really my motivation for this. And so I was able to test it, it works awesome. But look at how bulky the receiver is. I mean, we've got an eight channel receiver with one wire coming out of it. Um, but a big reason that I like this R800 receiver is because it has the dual long antennas. Now, I've done a quick check, and uh, Orange Receiver has a small, uh, it's a three channel PWM, but it has S bus, which is up to 14 channels, and it's a dual long antenna. So I'm really looking forward to getting that. I think that is the uh, ultimate setup. Um, it's really tiny as a three channel PWM, so it's the, the form factor is going to be real small. Dual antennas, DSMX, which is the latest. Um, the only thing that you need uh, for SBUS to go into the naze is a signal inverter. And so for about five bucks, these little cables that have a signal inverter. All that does is make, if you put it on the oscilloscope, instead of the, the high being high and the low being low, it's reversed. And that's what uh, the naze needs to be able to handle uh, SBUS. Alternatively, you can get from FreeSky, but it's more expensive and bulkier. Um, they have an SBUS to CPPM converter. And uh, so you can hook that into your SBUS and then go straight into the signal one on on your knees but the s-bus you now it's the same thing so why not just do the signal inverter cheaper smaller and uh, so I've ordered some of those those tiny little three channel it's almost you know it's the size of one of the larger satellite receivers but the reason I don't like the satellite receivers are a lot of the other orange receivers have a single antenna they're very short and stubby, and with a carbon frame, you really do risk um, getting a brownout, maybe a, uh, you know, kick into fail-safe mode. If your antenna is just like this high above the carbon fiber, uh, you're going to get a signal block when your frame's like this way from you. To get a brownout going to fail-safe um, might have an accident. So uh, that's why I like to put the antennas also on zip ties and keep them way up high. Uh, so look for that. We'll be doing that test, and then uh, next, also I'll be doing. Uh, I'm gonna do. I'll probably tear this one down uh, and save these motors for a bigger quad. I think these motors will be perfect for seven-inch props. On um, planning on something, you know, new on the Black Mamba. Look for something a little smaller though, so it'll be like 300, 330 size. That's several months away though. Um, and uh, that'll be my Octo. I'm going to build with, with full eight of these uh, Sunny Sky 2204, 2300 KV. So we'll see how that performs. Uh, so let me show you these, these new LEDs because they're bright um, here. And this guy I just hooked up to the. Yeah, I probably uh, I'm, I've got some of these. Probably I'll put on or, on on gun one order. I'll put them in my store, but they're really bright. Uh, you could even uh, change colors, for example, by throwing a on top of a light one of these Quadrostaria uh, acrylic covers. You get different colors. Uh, let's see what neon yellow looks like. Uh, so far these only come in uh, white as far as the LED, uh, but you cover it up and get a different color. So those are pretty cool. I wanted to show you those. Alright, thanks for watching guys.